Okay. So this is okay. So this is Crow ninety nine, and this is a tutorial making for an automated wheat farm. I'm just here in my single player world, and here it is. I'm sorry I didn't give much time for the wheat to grow, but as you can s may be able to see over th under the sides there's water. So that these are hydrated. I have jack lanterns here in the walls, you could use torches, and this is 3 wide, although it can be up to 4 wide, and it can be as long as you want, as long as all the chunks are loaded at all times, it's best to have it in your base or nearby so that it grows more often. Now the way I have this set up is that if you press a button, the water comes down. I also normally have it set up over there, it's a swell test and I took it down. So. That breaks all those wheat plants, then you press it again, it comes back, and you can just replant fairly easily. The way this water thing works is. Whoops. There's a dispenser with a bucket in it. I'm sorry, let me just see if I can turn down any settings. So there's a dispenser up here with a water bucket in it. Now when that gets redstone signal, it puts out the water, then when it gets another, it picks the water back up. So I'm going to go into another world and show how to make this. Alright, so I'm back. Now to start off with, at least the way I do the design, you go underground. You can just build it above ground as well, but I normally don't. So, I just started digging down here. So, you want to get a bit of space to start off with. As you saw in my base, I just had a 3x3 three three tunnel. So, that's a good. That's just one I started off with, but you can really have it just dug into any wall. You don't even, like I said earlier, you don't even need it in a wall. It's just a bit easier that way because you just need to dig in instead of doing anything else. It's a lot less work, I'm trying to say. So I'll be back in a second. Okay. I'm back. So, and then you can start, once you've got a good wide open space, or if you already have a wide open space, just go into a wall a little bit. Now, like I believe I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have to be just three wide, and just as an example for that, I think I'll make it four wide here. So, <coughs> get this going. Now, for reasons you'll see later, you may want to have this in increments of seven or or six or so because of the flowing water. You can only go seven blocks, I believe. So it'll be easier if you don't make it too long. Also, how much wheat or potatoes do you really need? Unless you're just attempting to make something just for the sake of making it. Which a lot of people do, and sometimes I do too. But. Alright, so fill this in with dirt. Then. 
on one side. Fill it in with water so that it becomes hydrated. In, in creative, it's a lot easier, of course. So this will hydrate the soil and stop it from becoming normal soil when there's nothing planted on it. It'll also make it grow faster. And then I'm just going to hoe up the ground. You may want to plant some seeds early when you're testing this, just so that you can uh, see them be picked up. Okay, so now for the actual working part here. So, for the button, you could put in a few different spots. One simple way would be there, I'm actually going to move this down another block make this easier. So, let's just go to the end of this. The really good thing about 3 is that it works a bit better with the water flow, but it's not a problem. So, button here. Then you get yourself a repeater. Whoops. And place it on the other side. And you notice that when I placed the dispenser, I dig off a little bit, and that was so that I could do this, get the, so I could find it easier, otherwise you have to count blocks, which is just more work than you need. So, now if I wired this up correctly, and there it goes. Now, you see this comes over a little bit. Now, you could just count this out so that you are exactly seven blocks wide. Then one would still come in if you want to get all those. So, the best way I find, if you have a stone floor at least, is to use these. You could also use wooden for wooden floors, or an iron and gold one, or other stuff, but I find that this blends in nicely, and the, the clicking's kind of annoying, but it's not bad. So, <clears throat> then you can cover up this wall, and this looks fine. Oh, if you press the button again and send another signal, it's turned off. Now, I said that this is a wheat farm, but you can use anything, really. And it would work with wheat, which is when I first built it for, but potatoes, carrots. It would work for all of them. It may even work a bit better with carrots and potatoes, because you don't have to worry about holding on to the seeds, you can just plant what you get. Might just make it a bit faster. Now, for the water, you could do something that I haven't tried recently, but you could move this over here with a little bit more redstone, then have a line of these, and then push all of the drops into hoppers over here, leading into a chest. Now, that's fine, and maybe I'll just quickly make something. Uh, 
something like this. However, because you have to go back to uh, replant, there's not really a big need for something like this because when you go over to plant, you're going to be picking up all those dropped items. But if you like this, if you like completely automated things in Minecraft, then this is also another way you can do it. So, I force us to have the water coming down the side there. So, some of them will be knocked in. And see, we're already getting carrots. Now imagine if I had another full source block. There. Oops. As you can see, this kind of thing has a lot of possibilities. And you can really make it your own. So the one I sewed in my world, I had it a little bit larger. I had two of these. I just had it twice the length. So really good way to do that is water flows eight eight full blocks of leaf so one two three four five six seven seven blocks sorry but because three wide I find is most efficient it you really want to just flow six blocks and then stop there so have something like that there, like uh, you might have noticed on my main world, and have those six. So basically when you're digging it along, you want to have you want to have either six long or twelve long or eighteen or some increment. You can have it fairly long if you really want that. I find it's not that useful if it's longer, but it's just a fun little project to do. I hope they enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Crow99. Please watch some of my other episodes. I may do a world tour. I have a lot of things built up. There's just another one I built earlier. And thank you for watching.